Well, Earth has exploded, and so has our ship that was trying to escape. So now we have to rebuild it and turn it into a sustainable colony, or we're all gonna die. And thank you, Paradox Arc, for sponsoring this adventure. So hello everyone, I'm Kibitz, and welcome to Stardius, where we are aboard the All Fine Four. Don't ask what happened to the other three. But our mind has been uploaded to this supercomputer, so we can control all these robots and turn this mess into a working space station. And eventually into a habitable colony because there's like a thousand people in these cryopods and they're gonna be waking up randomly if the power goes out. Oh wait, which it is! So before people start entering the void and dying, we have to put all this back together. So where we started, we're starting over here with all of our robots. And the first thing we have to do before we can support human life is we have to support the robotics life. So we have a charging station we can build, and a variety of other power things like these power connectors, which have a massive radius, so we should probably put those down here. And finally, charging station for the robots. And they can go there. Aside from these basics here, gameplay-wise, everything's a lot like RimWorld, which I played a little bit, where you have a bunch of stuff in your inventory or around. You have to gather it all up. You have to make sure the colonists are all happy and have, like, oxygen to breathe. And also it's pretty ideal if your spaceship isn't blown apart into a million different pieces. So hopefully a technology could help us with that. Like the winch. But of course everything's gonna need power so we're gonna need to burn something for fuel and apparently we can just burn steel plates. How? Don't worry about it. Space magic, okay? Oh, but hold up, there is something to worry about. Over on the other side of the ship here, there's actually a survivor. Cyber! Sleeping, couldn't find a bed. Are you gonna be okay, bud? Needs pretty much fine. It looks like it doesn't really need anything. That's good. How long do they have to survive over here? Crafting station, no power. Mini planter, it's fine. They have a mini reactor though, which has power and some water and food. Okay, maybe they can actually survive there for like a couple minutes as we try and get everything back together. And if they don't, we have a lot more people in the bank anyway. <laughs> Ooh, that's what I'm talking about though. We now have the winch, anchor, and hook. Good. Good thing about being in space, aside from the lack of oxygen and things, is that gravity ain't no big deal. So we can set up anchors and winch hooks in order to pull the parts of the spaceship back together. Of course though, we want to be very careful about this because <laughs> we don't want to make another crash and another giant explosion. Oh, but wait a second. Adam woke up from stasis, joined the colony, and then died. What? Adam, no! <laughs> All you had to do was snooze the alarm for a couple more minutes, or days or years. But no, had to get up on time, didn't you, bud? So that's on you. Well, there's more where they came from, so hopefully you can save the next one. Now, it's time for the big move. All right, attempting this will connect the two sections. It can be dangerous and it's permanent, so no explosion. It's looking good. Yeah, that's... That's fine. We can work with that. We kind of have like a makeshift hallway here now. Now for their second and last big pull, just bring this right over here. Reel in. It's only one option. It's straight. There's not gonna be anything weird that happens, right? Yes? Confirm? What happens to all the stuff in between? Oh, it just gets gathered up. Okay. That looks good! They kinda have like a bean! Excellent! All the parts, all together, we did it! Big accomplishment! Now it'd just be nice to get rid of this top little bit here. But I think there's something useful. Solar panel? Yes, we would really like that. Order cleaning? No. Can we just move it? No, we have to repair it. Okay, we'll repair that, we'll move it somewhere else, then we can get rid of all this jazz. Uh, we need a giant floor in here. And then if there's any broken stuff, well, we gotta repair it. So it doesn't really matter what it is. Just repair all effectively, thank you. So we're getting things back together very, very, very slowly. Main thing is, though, we can get the power back to that. And that gets us science. And a blueprint for teleporters. Handy. And of course, we have to make the area around this stasis array thing habitable. And we have a bunch of stuff going on here that can help us figure out how to do so. So inventory, yep, temperature. Temperature? Is anything actually happening there? Or is just everything just frozen? No, that's kind of red, so that's okay. 
then the rest is essentially the same temperature as the void. Oxygen. Uh, there's a little bit of oxygen left there. That's not good. Insulation. Oh, so once we build all of the walls out, then we should actually be insulated. Oh, plus the floors too, though. But there's too much floor to handle, okay? So I guess some people will be lost to the void. And you know what? That'll be fine. We actually can't even control the people in this game anyway, so it's like, whatever, dude. However, we can control the temperature and the oxygen levels now. So really quickly, I was just able to seal off what I could, the areas that we have access to, and now we got some space heaters, and they're actually making it warm in here. Well, warm is kind of like whatever, right? It, it's survivable. Insulation, 5%. <laughs> survivable, right? Oxygen, 20%. That's pretty good. 1%. There we go. So long as these colonists don't get addicted to oxygen, we're gonna be all fine. Haha, <laughs> that's the name of the ship. <laughs> oh, boy. Lots has been going on, though. Uh, because the floors were taking so long, I built a teleporter as well. So the teleporter is actually really easy and really cheap. And it can now connect all the way over to here. So the people in here are like, nah, we good. And they decide to move all the way back down here. Now that they can actually survive. See? Look. Wait, is he injured? Health. Okay, I don't know what happened to him. Maybe the teleporter hurt him. Who knows? Who cares? <laughs> we have our people here now. And we're actually able to get moving and grooving, I think. Did I forget anything? Is there anything else I have to do? These survival games, they go a little crazy real quick. But no, temperatures are okay in here. Negative 11 in the corner, just don't go to the corner. <laughs> and then through the door, it gets a little cold, you know, from four Celsius to negative 234 on the other side. And it's because of this particle collector. That's probably gonna be turbo important in the near future. But can I just ignore it for now and build a wall here? No. Fine. We'll repair that, then we'll get it somewhere else. Maybe we'll just build it over this way. We had an airlock over by our mainframe-y thing. So then we could just build a little platform over here for it. <laughs> they take the orb through the door. And finally, we seal all this off. So these people are going to be chopping down trees pretty quick. I got some planters growing some oak wood and some, what is this, wheat? I think it's wheat. Because we have to start worrying about food. What can we create? Well, we can make bread, and bread just takes flour, but how do we get flour? But we probably need some kind of, like, mill. But I wonder what else we could make. Stop producing. We can make some survival meals. Soy burger, or bread. The soy burger needs plant fiber. I don't know how to get that. Survival meal needs protein. <laughs> Uh, well, you know those dead bodies we have around, right? Well, we could either do nothing with them, or we could do something with them. <laughs> do it, Cyber. Do it. You have to get your nutrients, man. Look, we're on a crash ship. There's no more Earth to go back to. We gotta make the most out of our resources. Consume their flesh. Oh yeah, bud. Look at all that food. Oh gosh, I hope these guys don't show up later in the game. A little spooky. Wait, the people that have been vomiting out of the hibernation station. More food. Yes, to the kitchen with you. <laughs> oh, you see, they were handy after all. In fact, I wonder if we could just sacrifice our people to be food. Cause, like, yeah, we, we can't just tell our people what to do. We're kind of like babysitting them. Oh, no, 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 they can do stuff, but there's no tasks that are workable for them right now. Oh, I see, okay, so there are just, like, human tasks that can be done, like cooking their brethren on the stove. But there's only one stove, so he's just like, whatever. Anyway, atmosphere control, floor vent, vents, airlocks, oh boy, we needed that airlock turbo bad. Let's build that immediately, please. Another oxygen machine, too, hold up. We could use another one of them. Let's put one in here. And then airlock, airlock, airlock. And really like one there. 
Well, now things get even better. We got toilets and showers. If we did, well, wait a second. If we didn't have toilets before. Hmm. Now I'm starting to understand what all these brown spots were. Whoopsies. So we have like an eating area here. We have like a sleeping pod there. I guess we should have the toilets over by the bodies. Makes sense to me. What's the, wait, 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 what is that? Is that like a box? Who this? What is this? A stasis pod. Ignition point. Stasis, isn't that where like people usually are? What's it doing? You gonna crash land on my ship? Buddy, you better not. Don't do damage. No, it, it's, it's fine. What is this? Stasis pod. Its contents will be ejected once its cooldown sequence has completed. So what's in the box? Wait, people? Whoa! Friendly beings came out of the stasis pod. Make sure they're welcome. Sure! We got food. <laughs> As in you. And I guess you're not dead, so I guess that's pretty cool. Plus we get your little pod here. So let's just yoink all the material out of that. Thank you very much. Jay, what's your deal? You have traits, enlightened, and insomniac. That seems pretty good. And Phil. Oh, hi, Phil. You're always hungry and a nudist. <laughs> well, I guess you have to take the bad with the good. Well, it's fine. Always a use for more protein. Oh, but you know what would be really, really useful? If we could just sell the organs too. Hmm. So we're gonna try and hail a merchant. And hopefully they're in the market for some toes. So there's alloy people, building people, generalist, oil, robotic slavery. <laughs> well, well, well. Come on down, brother. We have many people for you to choose from. Oh, there they are. Oh, but there's also everything on fire. Mm, okay, well, that is splendid. Uh, what's up with this though? Oh, it's like way back there. Are they gonna teleport over now? Are we gonna also lose our entire ship? No, they got it handled. So what's going on with the trader now? Ah, but here we go. Merchant ship offering trade. Uh, their wallet, like a million dollars. Ours, nothing. And we can trade now, yes? No, our robots? No, we're keeping our robots. So then wait, can we not sell our people? No, that's terrible. Well, maybe not to this guy, but ah, dude, that's the worst. But what could we buy? Oh, a cleaning bot would be cool. Six of them? Crawler, no. <laughs> we could buy humans from them. <gasps> cats, 15 cats. Sentry drones, construction bots, okay, cool. But you know what, I bet each of these is random and that other traders we could actually sell our humans to. We're just gonna let them go. We will find another. Oh, but wait, what's this? A shiny box? For us? What's gonna be inside this time? People? Can we move this? We can relocate it. Let's move it inside in case it is people. Or we could have just brought monsters inside. That could also be bad. Let's just open it and see what we get. What the heck? What the, what the, what? What is that? Oh. C42. Wait a second. Why is the red bar going down? <gasps> oh, is that gonna explode? Uh, can we move that? Not here. Oh god. 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 Wait. 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 Where do we want this? Ooh. Uh, over there. Get get that outside, please. Right now. There's no way. Is that a timer? There's no way. Is that actually a bomb? <laughs> Are you for real? Who would do that? Who would just send a crate with a bomb inside just randomly in space? It's terrible. Like, I know we're cannibals and we're trying to get into the slave trade business, but like, come on, dude. That's not cool. <laughs> oh, but anyway, here come the trader people. What do you have, sir? Better yet, what can I sell? My robots? No. Why won't they take my people? You know what? Maybe it's because my people are just the worst. Y you know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. In the meantime then, let's just sell all of our green. $123, please. 
I'll take any amount of money. That would be fantastic. Well, and I guess we'll see about selling our people later. But for now, check this out. We have a pretty much fully repaired ship. The hull integrity is pretty decent. Temperature is not <laughs> like the surface of the sun. And we have something of a colony here. Cannibalistic slave trader ZS, but a colony that we can call home. Anyway though, that's gonna be all for today. So if you enjoyed, check out the first link in the description to pick up the game. But for now, have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye